Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about a huge problem that many of you guys face that is learning too many things that you actually don't need. So I'm talking now specifically to you guys that you want to get your first job as a web developer and you are a little bit lost and you hear about PHP, you go and you try to learn PHP. You hear about React, you, you go and you try to learn React. And then you go to Vue, and then you go to Angular, and you are a little bit spread, and you don't know what you are doing, and you're just like not focused in one thing, and you are just trying to learn all these kind of things. And in the end of the day, if you are not gonna build some kind of project, if you are not gonna actually test your skills with these things that you are trying to learn, it's almost like a time wasted. It's almost like, I'm, I'm gonna show you an example in here. I didn't consider this actually like a time wasted, but uh, this book in here for C programming, I actually like this book. So I was, I was actually learning C programming just for curiosity because I, I didn't have a computer science degree, as many of you guys know. Um, so yeah, it was, it was fun to learn to, to get some kind of concepts from the C language. But for example, I did this like six months ago and now I almost don't remember anything. If I would have to build something, I would have to go again and learn this. And uh, there is another thing in here. Some of you, some of you that, uh, for example, you have been learning, you have been learning already, let's say web development for uh, six months or three months or anything. And all of a sudden you take a break because you are tired, you don't feel motivated. You take a break of, uh, let's say one month. There, I, I don't know, there is people who are, who are just like this, they, they say I can't handle, handle this anymore so I just need to stop for two weeks, three weeks, one month or whatever. And then when you go back to, okay, now it's time to grind again, it's time to start studying, time to focus, you are going again for watching the same tutorials over and over again when you are like, okay, but I already watched this before. So if you already watch, for example, a tutorial about CSS or something, you shouldn't be watching, let's say if the tutorial on CSS is like two hours. You watched it in the past and now you are gonna watch two hours again. No, you shouldn't be doing this. You should be just like skipping it, like going to the most important part, you know, doing it fastly. It's almost, this is almost like um, when you're watching a, a TV series. Let's say when I was watching, uh, uh, for example, Mr. Robot. I'm, I'm watching Mr. Robot now. <laughs> it's actually a nice TV series on, on Amazon Prime. Uh, when you're gonna watch a new episode, they give you a brief review of what happened in the last episode. Because you don't need to watch all the all the the previous episode to remember what happened. And this is the same when you are learning web development. When you take a break and you want to get back again, you don't have to you don't have to um, to rewatch the full tutorial, but you just have to skip, go through it like really fast and say, oh, okay, now I remember how I did this because your brain will remember. And now you can actually dedicate some new time to another things that you never, you never saw before. Okay, so th this is the part, uh, an important topic in here. Don't rewatch like the full length of things that you already watched before. Just skim through it like really fast and see the most important topics. And now here is another thing that uh, you guys are going to relate for sure. You watch, let's say you watched a tutorial. You watch a tutorial about something and you in the end you are like, oh, this was so easy. I really want someone to come up to me and give me like some real life projects really complicated or anything. First of all, if you are going to get one of these kind of projects that are a bit more complicated, most of you, I'm not going to say everyone, most of you are going to be like, oh my God, this is too much for me. I can't handle this or whatever. And, and you're going to quit straight away. Uh, <laughs> most of you are going to be like this. So, one thing to test out 
the, 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 let's say Udemy courses or any other courses that you are doing or even tutorials on my YouTube channel or in other ones that you are saying that is too easy, just finish the tutorial and instead, instead of building the tutorial while you are watching, because this is copying, this is almost the same like you are in, in an exam at school and you are trying to do the exam and you are just copying by the other guy next to you. No, watch the tutorial or watch your Udemy course or whatever for, for the full length and try to see if you actually learn something from it. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to replicate the project that you, that you just followed, that you just watched by yourself, close everything you know, of course, you can go to Google and research and whatever, but don't go to the to the video and try to copy it. Try to do it by yourself. And now I'm gonna ask you: Is it is it really that easy? This project? Do you really want something like a real life project so complicated or whatever? Try this the next time that you say this. If you bought a Udemy course, if you are watching one of my tutorials or some other tutorials on YouTube from other people. Try this technique, all right? Watch the full tutorial and in the end, just by yourself without watching it, try and do it. And like getting back to the topic, to the main topic of this video is just like, don't try to learn everything. Even the senior developers, even the senior developers that they have been doing this for a very long time, they don't try, for example, to learn everything about JavaScript or whatever. They try to become the best and learn the things that they need to. And if they need something else, they will try to learn that other thing. So try to, try to learn, try to practice what you already know and what you already need to build your projects and your websites. Don't try to go, oh my God, you, let's say for example, you are never going to build an e-commerce website. Now I need to try and build an e-commerce website because uh, no, if you're never going to need to do it, why are you going to try to do it? Or if you are never going to do it in the company, you know what I mean? So that's it guys, this is just like a quick motivation video for you guys to get your things together and make sure that you are on the right path. If you need any other advices or anything, let me know in the comments down below. And if you need any other kind of tips or more tutorials for me as well, let me know in the comments down below. And as usual, guys, if you like my videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I got some, quite a few views in here all the time, couple of hundred of views, but not too many likes. So if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up, make sure. And subscribe to the channel if this is your first video. And I'll see you in the next one.